Hi, I'm Chuck Patterson, and I'm here to help guide you through the minefield, which is co-ed graduate physics. You might remember me from such films as Gravity and You, Know the Dangers, and Social Sciences, The Other Red Menace. Now, for some of you, this may be the first time you've ever seen a female. <laughs> Surprisingly, they make up 50% of the Earth's population. And here at the University of Wisconsin, we're glad to say in the physics department, they make up 2% of the student body. First off, let's go over a few very important do's and don'ts when dealing with the fairer sex. Do compliment your coworker on their appearance. Gee, Bonnie, you look swell today. Aw, oh, shucks, Jimmy, thanks. Don't. Sniff your coworker's hair when they're not looking. Do ask your colleague to go to lunch with you. We have some cats. We're gonna get some lunch. You, Brian, let's go. Don't ask your colleague to make lunch for you. We need some lunch. Do ask your coworker to use their slide rule. Don't ask your coworker to use your slide rule. Hey Jesse, me and the fellows are doing some studying together. Would you like to join us? That's the spirit, Dave. Do feel free to invite your female coworker to study with you. Hmm. On second thought, maybe we should skip that one. Remember, women bring a unique and diverse set of skills to the laboratory environment. Here are a few examples of women working to help further the progress of science. Oh hi, Jesse, could you prepare these vacuum parts for me? Yep. Thanks. Spherical symmetry. Yeah, so these these operators have to be unitary, right? Amazing. Yeah, that is incredible. Bonita, did you get that? Yeah. Hey, Rebecca. So you're doing a great job there. Thanks, Ryan. Those beakers look really clean. Would you mind cleaning my test tube? Sure. Thanks. Now you're ready to embark on your co-ed adventure in physics. And remember, women are just as scared of you as you are of them. Thanks, and have a great day.